My name is Liz Crees. I work at Queen's Hospital in Romford. I have the privilege of working at the centre with the first two Halcyons in the UK. So Rock Mackey introduced the Tomotherapy Unit in 1994, quite revolutionary at the time. And then by the time we got to 2014, we had the first View Ray MR guided system. So MR Cobalt at that point, but by 2017, we had an MR LIMAC version. And Electa weren't far, far behind, so obviously their MR LIMAC was in research mode for quite a long time, but gained CE marking in 2018. And then at the same time, we had the Halcyon released in 2017, so a completely different take for variant, moving away from the CRM platform. So initially launched with MV imaging, but a year later, 2018, we had KV imaging, and then at Estro earlier this year, um, Varian showed a new adaptive pathway, which is going to be based on a Halcyon platform. So lots of progress um, within the non CRM Linux. But what does that mean for us as physicists, and what does that mean for dosimetry moving forward? And how are we going to make sure that our patients are safe? So Varian assured me that the Blue Phantom 2 would fit through the ball. And as you can see, it, it does. It's tight. Um, there's no space for an external reference chamber there. Um, so you have to take you know, much longer when you're requiring your beam data because you don't have that reference for the machine output. Um, and there are some real issues with using conventional water tanks with the Halcyon. So obviously there's the size of, of the bore, you've got a hundred centimetres bore diameter, um, but, it, but it is tight. You also now, you've noticed you're putting the water phantom on the treatment couch because you're not being able to stand the tank underneath the gantry head. And also another key thing, there's, there's no field lights or front pointer set up on the Halcyon, so you're using imaging checks to line up your treatment tank as well. So IBA were actually very quick to come out with a solution for um, how we could commission Halcyon. So um, a package um, called the MyQA Halo package. So this included MyQA Accept, a compact um, smaller water tank, um, which when filled was sort of easier to set up in the absence of, of the, you know, the field lights and the traditional setup methods and a stealth reference chamber. So said transparent chamber design, so we get our reference chamber back in. Um, really important for small field size as well that, that you get a good, good reference chamber. So here, here you see a picture of the compact tank. Um, you can see it's, it's, it's sort of basically half the size of a Blue Phantom II and therefore it weighs half as much when it's filled with water. Um, so there's the, um, you can see it sort of fits nicely within the bore and it has the stealth chamber on top. Much easier to set up um, if only that, you know, you're only trying to squeeze past half the size of um, the tank as well. Um, so just quickly running through these, whips. We've, I talked about small fields. We wanted to look at small field dosimetry in the Halcyon. We have the edge, which is where we intend or we, we treat our stereotactic work, um, but we, we're always questioned about whether you can treat, say, by SRS on um, the Halcyon as well, and we wanted to do that small field commissioning. So we did some work with the Nano Razor chamber. So again, just a, a picture of the, um, the setup and all the scanning parameters exactly the same as the Halcyon. So just a little bit of a, a conclusion about the Blue Phantom Compact and the MyQA Halo package. Um, re made it really easy for Halcyon commissioning on beam data collection. We compared the measurements that we got using the MyQA Halo package with our commissioning data using the um, Blue Phantom. Really good reproducibility. Um, and acceptable beam data. You, you don't load beam data into the planning system for Halcyon. It's, um, Eclipse comes preloaded, but for verification that um, that beam data was good.